Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, The Golden Boy. Today we are back on World War II, and today what I have for you guys is a very highly requested video. This is how to spawn trap on the remake of Shipment 1944. Now, I get a lot of questions on how we set up the spawn trap so well. What are the positions? What guns? What classes? How, what streaks do you use? All these questions I'm going to be answering in this how to spawn trap tutorial on how to spawn trap on Shipment. I guess you could say it's a tutorial, but it's more along the lines of just if you guys are in a six man, I prefer you have guys having a six man in this, by the way. You can do this uh, anywhere from like three to six, but I prefer having a six because it is absolutely flawless when you have a six man that uh, coordinates and knows what they are doing. Now, the people that I run with are very experienced. Most of them are from MWR, so they do know how to set up a spawn trap almost flawlessly every single time. That's why you guys see these crazy gameplays and me getting 400 plus kills, which by the way has 100,000 views on the 422 kill world record, which is absolutely just stupid. But you guys can take advantage of this very quick, guys, because of Dom XL. In Dom XL, if you guys seen from that beginning clip in, uh, in scoreboard and XP, you can get disgusting amount of XP and uh, V2 rockets, kills, just anything that you're looking for, score, anything you're looking for, you can get in this spawn trap. It's absolutely insane. We're going to be going over the uh, spots first. We're going to go over the classes that you guys want to use and the kill streaks that you guys want to use in this video. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, first off, when you're with your team, you're going to want to go ahead and have everybody split up. You do not want your team going to C flag, though, yet, because uh, what people do not know is both home flags need to be capped uh, to do this spawn trap, right? So you want to leave B alone at all times. You do not want to grab it. You want to go ahead and grab A flag with one or two of your teammates. A few other guys are going to be sitting over here by Solo Car. That's what uh, the name we call it is Solo Car from MWR. And you're going to want them to capture C flag. Now, as soon as they capture C flag, you have two designated people that we're going to be going over here in a second. Uh, two designated people are going to be going to C flag to clear them off of C as soon as they cap it. So you capture A flag, you let them capture C, and you leave B alone. Now, what this does is it drags out the game for as long as possible because you need both home flags capped. People do not know this. You need both home flags capped. And you do not want to cap both of them because it would just be a quicker game. Less kills for everybody, less V2 rockets, and that is no good. You just want the game to be extended as long as possible. Let them get C, you grab A. All right, so after that is said and done, you want to have designated people in designated areas, right? All right, so what I prefer for everybody, I almost everybody in the game, probably five, anywhere, yeah, five, four or five people are going to want to have bouncing Bettys on their class. Now, for each designated position, I'm going to show you guys where to sit for each area. For, this is going to be called, so we're going to have positions, right? So we're going to have solo car, double dump. Let me go over these in a second, right? So this is solo car. This is just the one car in the middle of the map, or on the right side of the map. You're going to want to go ahead and put a Betty down in this corner. Whoever's by uh, solo is going to want to go ahead and jump on this barrel, and they're going to be spawning right there in front of you. All right, now another spot that they possibly could spawn is behind you. That's why you're probably going to want to put a second Betty if you run on solo car. It's a very low chance that they spawn behind you in this position. But if spawns do get pushed a lot or the streaks go absolutely AWOL, they will spawn behind you here and there. But their main spawn is going to be right here in front of you. They'll spawn right in front of you. Just take them out. That is a solo car position. Now, if you go over to C flag, you're going to want to go ahead and put a Betty on right here. There's going to be two people designated to C flag. You're going to have to put a Betty in this right side corner. And then someone else is going to put a Betty in between these crates right here. Those are two main spawn locations for the C flag. One person is going to sit right here and wait for the guys to come out of this crate or they will spawn right about here. They also spawn back towards double dump, which you can wall bang through this wall. So I do recommend having a AR or a LMG. That is very, very helpful for when you're on C flag. And the second person on C flag is going to want to go ahead and jump on this barrel. You can sit on this little edge right here and just stare right down there. They'll spawn literally directly in front of you if they're spawned out and they'll spawn in the, cart, in the crate back there, which they will walk out and you can take those guys out as well. So that is going to be C flag. The only spot no one's gonna to wanna to be is in this area. No one pushes this area. This is top double dump. This is the no-no spot. This is where everybody spawns. This is how you take them out. You're going to wanna to have a B runner. Now, the B runner, I recommend having someone who has very high gun skill because this person is going to be helping everybody along with watching his own position. So this person is going to be all over the place, right? They're also gonna to wanna to put a bouncing Betty inside of this B uh, crate right here. Put a bouncing Betty, come out. If B flag or uh, if C flag needs help, B runner is going to come over here, help them out. If solo car needs help, they're gonna help them out over here. If A flag needs help, they're gonna help them out over here, right? So they're gonna be going all the way around, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, 
Say everything's set up perfectly, I'm in my spot, everybody else is in their spot. Speedrunner is going to sit right here and just pretty much wait. He can move around, he can do whatever he wants, just don't push up past this right here, just stay about right here. And uh, yeah, you pretty much just watch right here. B flag, that is B runner. B runner is going to be a hell of a job. So whoever has the most gun skill in your team, guys, put them on B. They're going to be doing absolutely everything they can for them not to capture B and for them not to overpower any positions along with watching their spot. All right, last but not least, we have the two people on A flag. One person, this is what I like to do, right? A lot of people like to have two people on this area right here switching on and off, which you can do. There's nothing wrong with it. But usually, the trap goes out. This is a flawless trap, right? This is just going to be the flawless trap. This is not going to be for just everybody hitting the one spot right here. You know what I mean? This is going to be for just a flawless spawn trap. What I like to do is I like to have someone on this head glitch right here. Not only do I like to, but a lot of my teammates like to sit on this head glitch. They like to sit on this head glitch. Watch right here. The people that straggle out. So from B flag, you're watching right here. People say someone spawns back there, right? And runs towards that way. This guy on head glitch can just boom, pick him right off. This guy comes out through the uh, container, B flag's reloading, boom, pick him off. So what this guy does is he pretty much watches B flag's back along with getting anybody who's back by double dump, along with the C flag people that are shooting through the crate, getting them at by a uh, double dump too. And then the last person by A flag, you wanna go ahead and have a LMG and you're gonna wanna shoot through this crate. This is gonna be the main spawn on the, uh, on the map. This is the main spawn location. They all spawn usually in this crate as long as everybody is set up with their bouncing beddies and everything is going absolutely flawlessly. All right, so those are the positions, guys. We have solo car, one person with uh, one or two beddies. We have C flag, which is two people with two beddies. We have B runner, who is helping everybody along with watching his spot, putting a beddy in the crate. And you have two people on the A flag watching over B flag, making sure no one pushes out and someone is uh, hitting this crate right here, right in front of me, making sure that they do not push out. Now, what classes you're gonna want to run for each area, right? All right, so for my personal preference when I'm hitting the wall at a flag this is my favorite class by far now this is only for very experienced uh, six-man groups because I do not have armored I do not have hunker which means a whole lot of grenades are gonna be thrown my way so I'm having faith in my team to be able to cover their positions so I do not get grenaded so I'm very confident in the people that I run with so I run this class right here infantry hustle uh, land ship which is the Lewis extended mag FMJ and grip now why I don't run rapid fire a lot of people are gonna ask is uh I feel like you have to reload your clip way too often it's not really too much of a reward you can do the exact same damage if not more damage with a slower firing uh, Lewis I feel like it's more accurate you feel the hit markers through the wall a little bit more and uh, and yeah you just get overall a lot more bang for your buck in this uh, in this setup right here that I think you have hustle I hate reloading slow so I throw on that hustle don't really need hunger in my opinion if I have a good a really good six man and I run infantry instead of armored. Why do you run infantry instead of armored? Well, with armored, you only get about, I think, three clips with the Lewis, which seems like a lot, but it really is not. You go right through that in about, I don't know, like 45 seconds. But with uh, infantry, you get around 600 bullets with the Lewis, which is absolutely insane. You can go on a 40 gun streak without having to, uh, without having to die or grab a new gun or whatever it is. So I'd rather have 600 bullets rather than 300 bullets. That's just my personal preference. That is my main Slayer class for the landship. We're getting as most kills as possible. Another one is the armored class. So this is if we're having a difficult group. Uh, if I'm not running with the usual people that I'm running with, or they're just absolutely spilling out, they're anti throwing C4s and all that. I do have an armored class. Do not need the grip. Just throw on the FMJ and the extended mag along with the hustle. That also works for you too. Now this is my B runner class. Whoever uh, is running B, it's pretty much up to you. This doesn't uh, have to be set in stone. All the, the only thing that needs to be set in stone is the bouncing betty. You have to have a bouncing betty on for B flag because they will spawn inside the crate a lot and you'll get shot from behind. So put on a bouncing betty, put on whatever class you want. Um, it's completely up to you, whoever's uh, B running, just whatever you're comfortable with, throw that on. Um, another one is uh, expeditionary. Expeditionary is where you can resupply your bouncing betty. So this is mostly for the people at C or people at solo car. You run expeditionary. You don't really need airborne or infantry or anything like that because you guys are gonna be in the more safer positions. So you're gonna to wanna to resupply your base if they do spawn in those locations when spawns flip a lot. So expeditionary helps you resupply your Betty, throw it back down there, don't have to mess up the trap or nothing. Boom, ready to go again. Another one is a saboteur one. You get two uh, bouncing Bettys. Instead of running, so say you don't like running expeditionary, right? You wanna run infantry, boom, saboteur. Like you can, you don't really need hustle because you're not in a main, main, main spawn location. 
So odds are you're gonna have an AR or an LMG. You have someone else covering your back, run saboteur, boom, two Bettys, you're all ready to go. All right, so we got our spots designated for some uh, from certain people. We got our classes designated for certain areas. Now, everybody asks how you keep these people in the trap. What happens if they spill out of the trap? See, that's what you got the kill streaks for. A lot of people underestimate the kill streaks that I run, all right? So I have UAV because I do want to know where everybody is on the map. So that is kind of just like a, a little chill perk. We have artillery. People sleep so hard on the artillery, man. I'll be showing some clips here in a second. It should pop up on screen some clips of me putting down some artilleries and fire bombs. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna position these in certain ways, all right? So for the artillery, you're gonna wanna put in the top left of the map, just like that. You're gonna wanna put it in the top left of the map, let it come down. So if they walk out of the crate or they spawn double dump, this is mainly just for spawning double dump for the artillery. They spawn double dump, put an artillery down, absolutely destroys them. They spawn right back into the crate, you wall bang them, vice versa. It goes back and forth, bounces back and forth. For the fire bombing, you can either put it directly straight if you want to, it's not really too good for the people on C flag. So if they're yelling at you, tilt it a little bit. If you tilt it a little bit to the left where it comes on a diagonal, comes diagonally to the right, it still traps them inside the box and it burns them slightly as soon as they come out. And uh, they're trapped from double dump. So they, if they want to jump over the flames, they're going to die. They're trapped at double dump. They're stuck in the crate. They decide to walk out of the crate. They're going to get burned slightly. So they're going to be already at half health once they come out of the crate. They're going to be hitting, getting hit by artillery bombages. It literally keeps them inside the crate and it literally kills them off of double dump. It is the most overpowered set of kill streaks I can think of. You don't need paratroopers, it messes up the spawns, flips them way too much. You don't need supply drops, you don't need... Uh, I do recommend one or two people on your team running flat guns, preferably B flag and preferably he uh, A side head glitch. Those are the ones that you're going to want to have artilleries on, or not artilleries, uh, flat guns on, just in case the enemy team is running requisition and ends up getting, I don't know, paratroopers or something, which is very unlikely unless you guys are struggling to set up the trap. But if they do, put on flat guns, at least two or three people, boom, you'll take out all their kill streaks. You won't have to worry about a damn thing. They're setting the trap. Now, what happens if they get completely out of the trap? Um, usually, you're gonna wanna put your artillery on the C flag or wherever they're spilling out of because they will spawn flip onto A or C if they completely get out of the trap. So save an artillery for that. If that does not work, whoever is your, uh, your wall crate shooter, you're gonna wanna drop V2s, right? So me, very experienced with, uh, with shooting through wall. I've done it in Modern Warfare Remastered. I've done it in this game for the world's record kills and all that. So I drop V2s pretty damn easy shooting through the crate. So what I do is personally, or anybody in the game who, uh, who's on solo, I've had people get V2 rockets in all places, right? So if you get a V2 rocket, save it. Do not use it. I know it's gonna be hard. To, you're gonna wanna eagerly use it. Don't use it. If the people spawn out of the crate, everything goes crazy, everything goes AWOL, you're gonna wanna drop the V2 rocket, all right? Now, what this does is it completely resets your team from start to finish. It is perfect. People don't, don't realize if you drop the V2, everybody's wiped out, right? So everybody's able to get back into their positions, set up the spawn trap, and do it all over again. So you have your positions, right? You have your classes now. You have your streaks to hold them in the trap. If they break out of the trap, you drop them a V2 rocket, they get right back in the trap. It is literally the most OP strategy in the game for shipment 1944. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Not everybody out there is a spawn trapping god, but hopefully this does help you guys and your groups. Uh, Try and drop some world records, guys. If you guys can drop some crazy gameplays, tweet at me, show me that you guys have been doing some absolute work. Hope you guys didn't enjoy the video. If any of your friends have questions on the spawn trap, don't even try to explain it to them. Just direct them to this video. It's a lot easier. They'll, they'll get it just like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. The same. Ain't nobody gonna change. Everybody stays the same. So be different, make a name, huh?